it's Holly, the Twister Sister. Welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday, my weekly free balloon animal tutorial to help you learn the art and craft of balloon twisting so you could maybe start a balloon business and get paid to party. <laughs> ago um, but this alien has a few different tricks up his sleeves and I'm going to show you the little extras that I add on to him to make him extra special. So we're going to be starting off with two lime green 260s and I'm going to inflate both of these about halfway so we're going to leave about a five inch tail four or five inches there and do the same thing for both balloons. Here and tie that one. Okay, and now we're going to be starting on the hands of our aliens. So we're going to be working with both balloons at the same time. I'm going to start off with just a small round bubble and then fold my balloon over to make a loop and twist that. And we're going to do the same thing now with our other 260. Fold it over. Now we've got two little alien hands. We're going to bring both balloons together and twist them together about three or four inches down. So those are going to be his alien arms. Now we're going to take one of these balloons and we're going to make a pinch twist right here. So I usually look at whatever one is longer and um, twist the shorter one. Okay, so we're going to make a small round bubble here and then make that into a pinch twist here. This is going to be at the back of his neck and we'll hold his head up nice and straight for us. Okay, now we're going to bring both balloons together and come down a little ways for his body. Maybe about three or four inches there. And then same thing, I'm going to look at what I have left and I'm going to take whichever balloon has the longer tail. So this tail here is longer than this one. So I'm going to put my pinch twist on this balloon. We're just going to do one pinch twist here in the back for his little booty. You could do two, but keep it, keep it G-rated, y'all. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, what we've got so far. We're continuing to work our way down. We're going to do his legs now. So he's going to have a thigh, a knee, a calf, and a foot. All right, so we're going to come over on this balloon here. I'm going to do his little thigh just about two, three inches there. And then we're gonna do a pinch twist for the knee, like that. Come down for his calf. And then whatever you have left is gonna be his foot. And he's gonna have big feet and that's okay. Cause he's an alien. So he can be a little bit funny on the proportions. All right, we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. rest of this into his big feet. All right, so that is the body for our alien. This is also the body that we used on the ninja the other week. So there's a good little refresher for you there. Now, where this changes from the ninja is in the extras and what I do for the head. I love to give my alien a space helmet. That way I always tell the kids so that he can breathe while he's down here on earth because um, aliens probably don't breathe oxygen. So he's got to have a space helmet. Now, to do the space helmet, what I get is a clear stars around balloon. You don't have to have the stars around it, but I really, really love them. <laughs> They're a little bit pricey, but for me it's worth it because it just gets so many oohs and ahs. But if you just have regular clear balloons, that's fine. I'm actually going to be uh, trying this out on an 11 inch today. Um, I have usually in the past, I will do it with five inch clear balloons. So they're, they're the same size as the head. Um, but when I was ordering, I noticed the 11 inches were actually cheaper than the five inches. So I went with the cheaper ones and I was like, hey, we'll see how it looks with a bigger balloon. So what you're going to do is you're going to roll up our alien head. So just fold it over and just kind of roll it up a little bit. And 
that way he can smoothly fit right inside of our clear balloon. We'll just get him stuffed in there. Okay, so he's inside there. Now, what I usually do when I'm inflating balloons that are double stuffed is I'll inflate the outside balloon first. So we're gonna put our pump up inside of here so that it's only gonna inflate, inflate the clear balloon. So I'm gonna pull it down on my nozzle a little bit. All right, and then we're gonna take our pump and get it up inside of the alien balloon that's in the middle there and inflate our alien head. Now you've got an alien head inside of the clear stars around. And then I don't even tie this. I'm just gonna take it while I'm holding the nozzle there of both of those. And we're gonna wrap it around that little pinch twist at the neck to secure this in place. Turn it so he's facing forward, and people freak out over this. And I do like it with the 11 inch. The only thing you need to be careful of is the clear is gonna look a little bit um, cloudy since we didn't fully inflate this. Um, so you just wanna do your best to get the nozzle into the end of the balloon as much as possible so you can really you know, stretch that balloon out so that it's not as cloudy. <laughs> Hopefully that made sense. Um, but people love this. And like literally, I gave this to an adult a couple weeks ago at a workshop I was at. And he was literally staring at this for like 15 minutes trying to figure out how I did this. <laughs> you guys just saw how I did it. It's so simple. But this just baffles a lot of people. So um, even if you're a basic brand new balloon twister, if you can do this, you will blow people's minds and they'll be so impressed. Now, this is not the only thing that I do for my alien. I do like to add one more little accessory. He's always got to have a space gun and I just love adding this. It really completes the look. So my favorite color to do space guns is uh, this neon pink. I just love the way it looks. Now, if I'm giving this to a boy, they usually don't want neon pink. Um, so I'll do like a neon blue or some of the new chrome colors. But I just love the brightness and the, just the way the colors play off of each other with this bright pink and green. So this is my favorite. <laughs> so what we're gonna do to do this little space gun, we're gonna inflate our pink about halfway. I've left about a four inch tail there. And I'm just gonna do a small little bubble here at the beginning. We're gonna take our alien and twist our little pink bubble into one of his hands. I find that I always do his left hand and um, I don't know why, I just think it looks good, but realistically, I think most, at least most humans are right-handed, so it probably should be in his right hand, but who's, who's gonna be looking at all that? Okay, <laughs> once you get your pink balloon tied into his hand, then we're gonna do a couple loops. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm just gonna do one loop like that. And then right after that, we're gonna do another loop. Okay, so we've got two loops here. We're gonna take the rest of our balloon and thread it through the middle of both of those loops. Okay, so we should have that now. And then for the final finishing touch, I like to just do a little poodle tail at the end of this space gun. Hit a little laser ray that's pointing or shooting out of his space gun there. <laughs> so that is the alien that I do and I always have this guy on my line work menus as well. Him and the ninja are like must haves for me. I don't always add the gun depending on the situation. Um, but if I do have time, people love this. They see it and it's like, they just go nuts for this. So try it out and let me know how it works for you and what you think of this. Um, if you are part of our Facebook group, and I hope that you are, we do have a place in our group now where you can post pictures of the weekly tutorial videos. So try this out and then let's see your pictures over in the Facebook group. We do have clip art available for this guy so that you can go grab those images and put them on your menus and start making aliens at your events. If you've never worked with a menu though, 
make sure you pick up the free resource I have for you guys that's linked below this video. It is a free starter menu so that you can just print it out, take it to your next event and try working with menus and see how you like it. If you find that you love it, we've got like hundreds of clip art graphics you can use to customize and create your own unique menus for your work. If you like this little alien guy today, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and liking this video. And if you're new here and you want to see more balloon related videos, make sure to pop that subscribe button and ring the bell. I put out new tutorials every Tuesday for Tutorial Tuesday. That's it for this tutorial. I hope that you guys really liked it. I'll see you all over on Facebook this week and then we'll be back again here on YouTube. Same time, same place next week for another Tutorial Tuesday. Have a great week everybody. Bye!